This is something I've not tried before, but we're going to do a uh, an unboxing and uh, the beginning of the setup, at least for a uh, all-in-one desktop. So, just picked this up from Best Buy. It was not on sale. Uh, an HP 24-inch all-in-one. Uh, it's got a Ryzen 3 processor, uh, 256 uh, gigabytes of storage SSD, uh, 8 gigabytes of memory and um, wireless key uh, wireless keyboard wireless mouse and uh, just a few other things it's even got a touch screen uh, so it's got everything we want and it's an all-in-one instead of a uh, uh, tower which is all we've gotten in the past the other thing is this is so light and small just in the box so it's easy to handle so uh, I'm gonna try a bit of an unboxing here uh, it's so big, I don't know what this will look like when we do it, but uh, let me just try. We'll just uh, unbox it out of the Best Buy box. At least that'll be a start. I did look at a bunch of others, uh, not just uh, HP. I did look at Dell, uh, Lenovo, etc. So uh, it wasn't just uh, uh, this. And uh, took my time and the reviews on this, by the way, on the Best Buy site at least, were, were great. Looking at other uh, sites for the same or similar uh, computer were also very positive. So uh, looks like we've got the right thing. Here's what it looks like inside the box. Obviously, you can see the monitor here. You can see some of the boxes holding it in pretty tight. So that's all nice. And uh, you know this foam will be easy to take out. Uh, because actually I'm doing this for someone else, so I'll wind up having to transport it. So let's see what we have in the box here. Oh, let's take out this. I think this is going to be pretty obvious what it is. I'm guessing keyboard. Aha! Guess what? Now we have a keyboard. So this is the keyboard here, and this would have a number pad on it, so that's good news. And looks like I could just take lift this out. So I'll do that. And that's the computer. So let me put it down here. So here we go. We're gonna pull it out of the box. Ugh. But oh that wasn't good. Anyway, this has a, uh, let's get it out of here. So here it is. And we'll uh, lower the camera to get a closer look now. Uh, by the way, I forgot to mention it does have speakers and a built-in camera. I think this is gonna work well. So again, I've never done anything with this larger product. Uh, 24 inch screen, as I had mentioned to you. So let's uh, start taking off some of this protection and uh, see what we think. Uh, also, by the way, this uh, uh, should have a, I'm sorry, I moved the camera. Uh, this should have a tiltable uh, screen, which is also something we wanted. So let's go ahead and turn it around here. And it looks like we're going to take this off at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. We'll take this off at the bottom and ta -da! This says do not use as a handle. So, so I won't use this uh, piece of cellophane here as a handle. And what this is, by the way, is a pop-up camera. I don't know if you could see it, but there it's a nice little pop-up ca uh, camera. So we'll take a look at that later as we get things set up. And um, this will not be easy to see. Uh, so I'm going to lower the camera. Hold on. Let's see what you could take a look at here. Um, here's a headphone jack over here. And here's the Ethernet port. And we will be using Ethernet on this, a direct uh, connect. A single HDMI port. Um, I have to double check. That might be an optical, but I'm not positive what that is. I'll have to check. 
four USB ports, two of which are USB 3, uh, and the others are USB 2.1. And I believe that's probably just a lock uh, there. And uh, believe it or not, I believe we have a DVD uh, player on off power switch here, as you could see, or maybe not see, but here is an on off power switch. DVD player here, uh, which we probably hardly use, by the way, as uh, most people are probably in that same boat. Again, the camera, uh, let me turn it around, and the speakers would be here. Supposedly there's two speakers. I'm guessing they're, they're going to be kind of tinny, etc. but for what we're going to use it for, uh, they might be perfect. The bezel looks uh, nice from here, so I don't know until we turn it on what it's really going to look like. Uh, let's take a look at the camera. I'll pull it up, and there's the camera. And I believe this also will work with Windows Hello, which is uh, also very nice. So, uh, so far so good. And uh, I'll take off the bottom here with the stand, and let's see. It is tiltable. Actually, it's a nice tilt, and by the way, it's a touch screen. So this is really, a, a, so far, at least what I think, uh, is a neat computer. So we'll be right back to you. We're going to open a few more things now. And here's that box that I uh, ridiculously thought was the uh, keyboard. It is not. It tells you that in this box is a power cable, power adapter, documentation, wireless keyboard. Oh, it does say wireless keyboard and wireless mouse. But obviously the keyboard is in here. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what we have in here. Documentation. And there's really <laughs> nothing. I mean, it's obviously all going to be online. And uh, here's the setup instructions. Uh, I'll take out and show you. We're just going to do, as I said, just a small part of the setup, uh, not the entire setup for you. Um, all the Windows setups are going to be the same, so we'll open that in a minute. Um, and literally, literally nothing in here is the power. And as you can see, it's just got a brick, a connector, and a plug into the wall. That's it. So I'll just take that out because I am going to set it up here as I mentioned to you. So uh, I'm hoping that you can see all this. The keyboard. So again, this is, uh, I, I mean, it's so simple uh, what's in here. Um, let's open up the keyboard and see what it looks like. Though I didn't see the mouse, it's in here, that's why. So here's the keyboard. And let me take it out of plastic because the light is uh, putting a little bit too much brightness on it. And kind of a neat, I think it might be a neat keyboard. There's the mouse, and here is the dongle, or the uh, USB plug uh, for the mouse, and it also comes with four batteries. I just have a couple of comments here before I go any further. Again, I'm sorry for the glare. Uh, one is, uh, the keyboard feels really solid, uh, which is nice. If It just feels uh, good and uh, that's where eventually the batteries, the batteries are packed two and two. So uh, this is the keyboard, um, I can't tell yet. The travel feels fine. Uh, doesn't have any adjustments in the back. So there's no adjustments to uh, angle it any differently as best I could tell so far uh, because here's the feet uh, along it. But hopefully that'll be all right, though it seems flatter than I would typically like it, so that might be too bad, but we'll see what that means. And uh, as I showed you, here's the USB plug. This feels like nothing. This is the, uh, the mouse, and it literally feels like there's nothing there. So I'm going to go ahead and put the batteries in both uh, and get them ready, and in a moment we'll, uh, we'll start it up. Here's what we have so far. The mouse, the keyboard, and the computer, including the display, that's the whole thing. So nice and easy. So we're going to go ahead and plug it in uh, and let it start up and see what we've got here. I've gone ahead and plugged in the power, and uh, I will begin, uh, as I said, to start it up. Uh, so I won't get it all the way up and running. So 
I think this is the power switch. I'm going to try to do this as uh, if I was just a user and you could see, I don't know if you could see, but the light has come on there. Uh, so it looks like we have the beginning and I'm going to go ahead and turn the mouse on, which I have. Uh, there's no light there yet, so I'm sure the, the mouse will have to figure a way to connect uh, with the USB uh, plug that I put in. And there's no on-off that I could see on the keyboard. So that would also hopefully be just a uh, an automatic. It looks like it's Wi-Fi, wi so it's not uh, uh, Bluetooth. And uh, I've had trouble in the past with Bluetooth as far as waking from sleep and things like that. So um, I'll be editing out things like this that you don't have to wait on. Hi uh, there. I'm Cortana. Well, and I'm here to help. I bet you can hear Cortana. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Here's the if little you need microphone. an assistive screen reader, Press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys. So that's pretty at the same loud, by the way. To turn on narrator. So I'm going to lower the volume okay. a bit. Enough intro. Let's and the keyboard in. is connected. I'm not sure if you could actually see this, but the keyboard is connected. United. Just to keep you updated, I've skipped through uh, a Next bunch step. of stuff. I'm going to lower this so you can see sure, the screen. You'll need to select. A so now I'm on the Windows 10 license agreement, and the mouse and keyboard work. So they connected. Uh, very easily, very, very easily. So I'm going to try the touch screen and let's go to accept and voila. Right now I've input uh, all of the information and it would, I have to admit that people, I've heard people make fun of using Cortana for the setup, but it certainly makes things easy. And the touch screen on a 24 inch uh, product is, is just uh, great. So this has made it really easy to do. And I would say I've spent so far about five minutes. Uh, I'm linked to a Wi-Fi. Uh, everything is set up, the mouse uh, and the keyboard work. Speakers on the bottom work, and actually they're pretty good. Um, I, they're satisfactory. I haven't tested the camera yet, but I'm going to test that uh, shortly. And um, I've set up a pin. And I have to double check, but I believe this will also work with Windows Hello, uh, which, which would also be nice. So there's the camera there. But again, I'll, I'll just, uh, I don't know if I was even supposed to pull that up. Uh, but anyway, it's updating now, so I'm going to let it continue to update. I'll do a speed test. And um, well, there we go. So, uh, so far, so good. Uh, I'm going to clean up uh, some things, but let me see if I could do a speed test. So I'm going to play around with this and just show you. I've got most everything set up, and I, I've got to tell you, other than cleaning up some things, I was able to sync uh, uh, Microsoft Edge, uh, the new Edge, uh, with uh, what, what I previously had. It was done like that, and I did snap my fingers. So all of that is, is really working out well. I'm going to go ahead and test the speed. I am um, quite a, a distance away from my main router, but just above us, I have a, a, a point from a Google Nest uh, mesh router. So I'm kind of curious. My speed is typically 100 down, about half of that up. Uh, so I'm going to guess here it's going to be about 70, but let's give it a shot. Here we go. So you can kind of see it uh, as it happens, and whoa, <laughs> oh, I, I, this is great. So you could see the number here, it's uh, closing in on 110 uh, down, download, so this is going to work great. And I'm in a basement, by the way. Uh, the upload is, I told you I thought it would be around 50, and it is or about half. So uh, the ping was 16. This is really good. Uh, the screen, uh, the, the f uh, picture is really uh, nice. Uh, so I'm, I'm very pleased with that. I'm going to go ahead and set up a little bit more, but uh, I will tell you that uh, so far um, everything is crisp and clear, no glare at all. Uh, just, I, I mean, this is really, really nice. So let's summarize what we have. 
this all in one product. Very easy to set up, whether it was taking it out of the box, the software, connecting to uh, the internet, whatever it was, it was very easy. Touch screen, very, very good to get the touch screen. Uh, it also comes without a touch screen, but it really makes uh, everything so much easier uh, to have it. There's so many really, really different reasons uh, to use it, uh, so it's worthwhile. Uh, the keyboard and mouse are good. Uh, the mouse, you really have to lay hand flat. It's comfortable for me, but maybe not everyone. Uh, so you'd have to look at that. Uh, the the keyboard works really well. It's somewhat flat, so if you like a, a big angle, you won't get that. Uh, but both products are good. The pop-up webcam, it works. It works fine. It's satisfactory. The only drawback I saw was in a more dim-lit room is it really was uh, not good at all. But in, in a room that has good lighting, whether it be daylight or even uh, lights, uh, it works uh, just fine. Uh, the speakers, much better than expected, especially for video conference. They're just good. Uh, you hear every word. They're crisp. They're clear. Music is also good. It's not excellent. There's no subwoofer, but it is very good. It's been about a week, and for all intents and purposes, it's done everything uh, I really needed. It's uh, simple, so I, I don't do anything really difficult with this. Uh, I just really surf uh, the, the web, uh, do emails, uh, just very, very little other. So uh, I think that uh, it's going to serve well, and it's going to serve well for many years. It's a good product. I recommend it.